Hello beautiful Capricorn, welcome into my channel, Miss Reamy Healings. My name is Reem, welcome into your reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Capricorn. I'm going to start you off with your spiritual growth, your personal development, healing, and guidance, and then I'm going to flow into your romantic love life, okay? So I will timestamp in the comment section down below when your love reading begins. Capricorn, I was like on my couch and I'm like thinking... I was thinking about you last night and then this morning and I was waiting for the green light basically to do your reading and then I heard um, deeply connected deeply connected and then I got this feeling that you are deeply connected to something or to someone more than you realize um, and I feel like this message is going to apply to your love life, which we'll get into. But there's something here that you are deeply connected to more than you realize, okay? So let's see what this is. Um, that was a channeled message that I got for you. Let's just flow and see what other messages we get as we get into the tarot and the oracles. Um, this is a mystical moment, I believe. I have another mini one here. It's a sacred sacred something yeah mermaids love okay so we're gonna talk about your love life in just a little bit i knew this was i knew this had to do something with your love life um at the bottom of that you have here the gift and look you have here the galactic entity from the previous reading um there's gonna be a gift that you receive something that you receive through this connection through this I'm, i just saw a deep knowing a deep knowing I, I literally saw the words deep knowing um let me shuffle and get one more i'm there's a lot of love there's a lot of love that is around you universal love cosmic love self-love there's a lot of love you have here no rain today okay Oh, hold on a second. I just felt that there was something else here. Transformation. Okay, number 26. Okay. All right. I don't know. Um, I'm hearing someone sing someone a song. Sing someone a song or you sing someone a song. Um, there, I'm seeing here to the moon and back. I don't know if you tell someone I love you to the moon and back. If you say this to your mom, your family. If you say this to a loved one. I, I'm, I love you to the moon and back. Okay, I know that's like really cheesy, but that's, it's freaking cute. <laughs> to the moon and back. You're wondering, you're wondering about a connection. You're wondering about something here. Someone has extremely long hair or you're thinking of growing your hair long or you recently cut it. Um, see, remember how I was saying, because hair is all about connections, right? Hair is about that, um, it's like an antenna, it's like your connection to source. Um, you're deeply connected to an energy, to an entity, to the galactics, to the cosmos, to source. You are deeply connected to an energy, to a spirit guide more than you realize. And I don't know what is stopping you. There seems to be some, I want to say something had stopped you from believing this or caused you some kind of doubt here with no rain today because I'm seeing that there was some kind of cloudiness, some kind of confusion. There is some kind of confusion in your life that made you feel like you weren't as deeply connected as you are. Um, I don't know if this is inner doubts. We'll get into the tarot. This feels like an inner doubt. Some of you, this was an outside an outside person that made you believe. Wow, you have here two mermaid energies here. It's like someone, I don't know who, I don't know what kind of energy. It's like making you believe or made you believe if this is past tense for you um, that you weren't special or that you weren't gifted. Um, this could have been a, a, um, a family member of yours that kind of brought this dark cloud over you. Some of you have had this like cloud over your 
um, family, over your home. You're breaking generational curses. Um, it's almost like there is magic in the family. There is a very special gift in the family, in your lineage. Um, but there's someone here that denied the gift, that denied the gift. Um, this may be someone in your ancestors. I don't know if it's on your mom's side, on your dad's side, but someone denied a gift. Someone denied a gift in the family. And it's like you're next in line to receive this. Okay, you are undergoing a lot of transformations. This is number 26, which is 8. 7, which is 8, 9, 10. Number 10. And 5. Yeah, you're 5, 5, 5, 10, 10. Two, four, two sixes here. See, this one says the past is in the present and energy signature. Yeah, see, there's something that is imprinted in you. This is about DNA. There's there's an energy signature from the past. Okay, there's something about your ancestors. See this energy here? This is a gift. There's a gift here from your ancestor lineage. Someone didn't take the gift. This could be, again, an ancestor of yours that you don't know. It could be your mom. It could be your dad. It could be your uncle. Someone in your family is like so opposed to psychic gifts or every time they hear something about the supernatural, they get so cringy about it. It's because they didn't want to receive the gift of their family or they saw how um, the psychic abilities, the gift um, can, can um, cause loneliness can cause someone loneliness someone was very lonely someone was very lonely um here with to the moon and back someone's very lonely pondering thinking there's someone in your okay there's someone in your family this is interesting there's someone in your family that is aware of a gift in your family but they saw how lonely it can make someone feel or they lived at the time where like witches were burned for example or wizards were killed or um you know mages and and that were appointed to to palaces and and to kings and queens because there were priests and high priestesses that were appointed to kings and queens and then they were later on killed um it's almost like someone lived during that time okay and that energy signature is imprinted in you so you're healing you're transforming that wound okay and you're understanding that gift and that's why that cloudiness that cloudiness from the past the past is in the present that cloudiness from the past in your present is being transformed and, and healed so some of you might have been feeling very lonely on your journey some of you might have been feeling um that you carry you carry something from the family and i don't feel like you you understand what it is or you haven't seen it in its full effect just yet you haven't seen it in its full effect just yet um some of you it's almost like you're trying to um communicate to your ancestors you're trying to like reach out you're trying to reach out you're trying to reach um, into something far beyond yourself um, you're trying to anchor yourself someplace or somewhere you're trying to find it's almost like you're trying to find where you belong it's like where do I belong where do I belong it's like you're constantly up in the sky right because that's where you feel like you belong um, but I feel like you're trying to connect to your ancestors you're more connected than you realize. It's almost like you're trying to connect, but you don't hear anything in return. It's because something is clearing out, okay? Something is clearing out in that lineage. Something is being healed, and you're you're the one healing it for them. Oh, this is like... Sorry, I feel like I'm out of breath. <laughs> the King of Swords is here. It could be a male. It could be a male figure. Um... Yeah, see the Hermit in the Four of Cups. 
Okay, Hermit in the Four of Cups, Virgo energy. That landed right on the Four of Cups. It was the Devil energy. Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius energy here. Pi I'm feeling Pisces because there's a really strong connection here to the um, intuition. You have here the Three of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Palace of Cups at the bottom. You have here the Five of Wands in C. You have here Faith and the Ace of Cups. Okay. I'm going to keep this Ace of Cups for this mermaid's love in your love life, okay? Because this this is this is connected to your love reading, um, which we will flow into. You have here the Three of Wands and the Knight of Cups. See, there's been a battle, okay? There's been a battle about faith. You've been struggling with faith. It's because... There's an energy signature. There's um, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of energy that you carry in your lineage. Okay, a, a, a lot of gifts, a lot of um, a lot of power. Your family, your lineage has a lot of gifts in the supernatural. Okay, um, remember how I was giving that example of someone like worked. Um, they were either a, a witch in their, in their, you have a lineage of witches, mages, um, high priests, high priestesses. Okay. Someone, um, see, I've been picking up a lot of past life recently, which is interesting because the past is in the present, right? The energy signature, the past is in the present. Um, uh, Someone worked for for like a king or a queen. Someone served the king and the queen. Someone served the palace um, with this gift, an, an ancestor of yours, and um, they were killed for it. My God, I, I've been getting this message lately. They were restricted. Their gifts were restricted. They weren't believed. There was something about like at, at a point they didn't believe them so you might be feeling in the present moment or in your life whether this was in the recent past or something that you're currently experiencing where people didn't believe you they didn't believe your faith or they 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 they, they challenged they challenged your faith they made you question your faith and then it's almost like you turned against yourself um so this is something that you're currently battling. This is something that you're currently overcoming. I see you overcoming it. I see you fighting back. I see you going through a really powerful transformation of coming into your power and coming into your gift and healing that entire lineage that has gone through this um, very traumatic experience. I see you really taking action here. This, this king of swords, it's, al it's almost like you're making a decision. It's like you've been appointed to make this deci decision to carry this forward because you feel it, even though there are people in your life, could be this, uh, you could have a family member in your, in, in your immediate family that is very opposed to what you believe in or the gifts of the supernatural there's someone here that is very opposed um but you know that there's something deep you know that there's something um there's something you know that there's something there that you're connected to that you're connected deeply more than you realize so that i feel like you're trusting that here with the Four of Cups and the Hermit, there's a sense of trust here. You're trusting. You're trusting this connection. You're trusting the depth. You're trusting the depth of this connection. You're trusting how deeply you are connected to this gift. You're trusting how deeply you are connected to this energy signature, to your ancestors to that lineage you're trusting how connected you are here no matter the doubts and the naysayers no matter no matter what 
no matter what you are um it you know what this is it's like you're choosing you're choosing your battle here with the king of swords you're choosing your battle here you're choosing what to fight it's like i'm choosing to fight this i'm choosing to heal this not only for me but for my ancestors and for my for the children my children and for the children to come after me <laughs> no rain today <laughs> I'm just seeing someone say no rain today. I see something clearly. Mm -mm, no rain today. I see something clear as day. No rain today. No rain today. Look at this. No rain today. I see the gift coming. No rain today. I see my ships coming. No rain today. Look at this. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. I love that. So what I'm seeing here, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things that are again this energy signature. The past is in the present. The past is in the present. There's something very prophetic about this energy here with the Hermit and the Three of Wands. Prophecies, okay, prophecies that have been signatured, prophecies that have been signed, prophecies that have been written inside of you, inside of your DNA, inside of your family. Um, you, what your ancestors have prophesied when they worked for these kings and queens. There's a lot of knowledge, okay, that's imprinted inside of you that you are acquiring here. And I feel like that is what you're forcing. That's what you're receiving, okay? I'm also seeing something tangible, okay? this These gifts are also tangible gifts and opportunities, okay? Here with the um, Three of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, Um you're collaborating okay you're collaborating right you're you're connected um more deeply than you realize okay so you're doing a lot of collaboration with spirit i feel like you're very much aware of this you're very much aware of who you are connected to to the moon and back I feel like you're aware. You may not exactly know the details or the fine prints of this energy signature. You may not exactly know everything. You mean, because I don't know all my ancestors. When I talk to my ancestors, I say ancestors known and unknown because I don't know them all. But there's something here that you just feel deeply angered and connected to. And I feel like you're collaborating with them. There's a level of trust and collaboration here. and love lots of collaboration and love you know what's healing this devil is love you know what's healing this conflict is love the devil is being healed by love you know that saying like kill him with kindness it's that kind of energy you're approaching you're approaching this battle with love with love okay i hear you <laughs> okay gentle gentle with faith see the commotion of like everything else the energies around you the energies that like try to take you down or try to like there's some i don't know what it is it's just like someone or something is telling you no or like telling you that you're wrong or telling you that you don't really have a gift or i don't know what it feel like that i'm just getting like Instead of like getting defensive, it's just this like insurmountable amount of love and, and faith and calmness. Look at the look at this energy here. Just feel this energy for just a moment. There's so much calmness. There's so much wisdom, so much belief, so much trust in the very thing that you cannot see, in the very thing that you may not understand, but you just know that you are deeply connected to something. You're deeply connected more than you realize here. Some of you, you've been fighting this connection. Some of you, that, that may be how you're resonating with this. You've been fighting this connection. You've been fighting it. You've been doubting it. But I see that you're overcoming that battle. Some of you are like fighting your own gifts. 
fighting your own gifts. I feel like the energy just really calmed and settled all of a sudden. It just like calmed and settled. Um, you're really stepping into your power here. You're really stepping into your power. You are going to understand the past. And I'm talking not just like your um, immediate past, like in your, in this lifetime. I'm talking about past life. Not just the life that you have lived, but the life that your ancestors have lived. There's something about the past that you are going to understand. The past is in the present. Okay, I talked really fast. Because I was just channeling and I, I, I completely forgot everything that I said. <laughs> Uh, I hope I artic I just trust that I articulated what I needed to articulate. <sighs> You're receiving powerful gifts, okay, from your ancestors. I don't know if I said that. Okay, and you are also receiving unexpected opportunities here, okay, because of your collaboration and what you have healed, okay, what you are healing um, in your in your lineage, okay? you're so like you're you are supported okay you're supported and you are thanked your ancestors are thanking you are thanking you that there is no rain today that there's no conflict they're thanking you for believing in them that's really beautiful okay capricorn let's get into your love reading so we had the mermaid's love card okay and it came out with the ace of cups in your spiritual growth message and i knew that we had to talk about this in your love reading okay so what i'm getting for you is that there's something very different about you okay i'm getting different um you love differently you are different you are looking for something different and I am seeing that you are deeply connected to someone here more than you realize. And that's the theme of your reading here. Um, you're deeply connected to this person more than you realize. I'm intuitively feeling here because there was a card in your spiritual growth that said um, the past is in the present okay and i'm sensing that someone's past i'm seeing the five of cups in my mind's eye i'm seeing that someone's past is not fully closed out yet and there's some kind of fear fear i'm not sensing anything related to like a third party or anything like that um so if that's like your situation then this reading isn't for you what i'm sensing is fear of repeating the past the past is in someone's present here in a sense of they don't want to repeat what they have previously gone through in a relationship and a connection this could be you this could be the other person and i'm feeling that this is what's blocking this connection from moving forward this person is putting on um like they're not telling you the whole story they're not letting you in they're not telling you what they've gone through in the past they're not telling you that they don't want this that they don't want to repeat that they're not even telling you what they want really but you are deeply connected to each other more than you realize it's just like it's this theme and this is what i'm intuitively intuitively picking up on okay so I'm an intuitive, intuitive reader. I don't read. I don't just read the cards verbatim. I have to go with what I feel and the channeled messages that I receive. So let me see what the cards have to say. Okay. Let's get the story. Let's get the story. Eight of Swords. 
okay this is restriction mental restriction someone is restricting themselves from moving forward okay someone is not communicating their emotions someone is not communicating what they want someone is not communicating what's in their head what's in their mind someone is not communicating what keeps them up at night they're just not telling you what they have gone through in the past they have gone through something here in the past that has completely ripped them apart it's and they have a fear of repeating this with you but you're not them right that's what i i started off this reading saying that you're different you are different and i feel like they know that you are different but because the past is holding on to them like this and they're holding on to the past like like that um they're not seeing clearly that this is a new love that this is a new opportunity that this is something that can blossom and be fruitful um so i'm sorry that you're going through this because i feel like as i was getting into this energy i felt very confused i felt very agitated i felt like i didn't exactly know what this person was feeling or saying towards me but intuitively like i knew but i felt like i was in your energy trying you're trying to figure someone out and it's almost like you're trusting the connection you're trusting how deeply connected you are but then you have this like moment in in the back of your head or you have moments in your day where you're just like okay i need to walk away or i need to go i need to go but then you have moments that surge within you that you're just like oh i feel this with them though i feel this with them though and it's just very confusing You have the Knight of Wands. You have the Five of Wands. You have the World. You have the Empress. Okay, I do like the World here. I love the Empress here. Let's see, Ten of Swords. This is this person's past. Ten of Swords. So if you wanted to see what card it was that I was talking about, if you didn't come from the spiritual growth message, the past is in the present, an energy signature. The past is in the present. Four of Cups, okay, with the Ten of Swords. Okay, this is someone's past. Knight of Cups. There's the Five of Cups that I was seeing in my mind's eye. Okay, see, we're talking about someone's past. Knight of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, there's that Ace of Cups again at the bottom. You hear the Ace of Cups twice. Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands. Okay. Hear the dog barking. Uh, that's this five of wands, conflict, tension, friction. There's a lot of back and forth. There's back and forth, back and forth between um, this person's energy and they're going back and forth. Um, you're going back and forth. You're noticing consist inconsistency in this person's behavior at this time. They're self-sabotaging this connection because their the past is in the present. Their past is in this present moment. They're not letting it go. See, you know what's funny is I shifted these cards, right? And look what ended up under the world, the Five of Cups. Someone needs to let this go. This person needs to let go of their past. They have a lot of fears here. Okay, this is the overall energy, the Eight of Swords. They have a lot of fear of moving this forward. They have a lot of fear over commitment. They fear this. They fear, they fear love. They fear vulnerability. This really feels like it's out of your hands. And that's what feels really scary about it. Is that it's like out of your control. It's out of your hands. This is... This is um, this is someone who you feel different with that you feel deeply connected to more than you realize you're deeply connected to this person more than you realize but what's so frustrating is that 
this person is so fearful of connections, commitment, love, because of what they've gone through. Ten of Swords. There was a betrayal in the home. I'm seeing cheating. I'm seeing deception. There, he, he or she was in a very long-term relationship. I'm seeing like seven plus years. This person was in a, in a long-term relationship that ended badly. This is a very specific story. Um... I'm seeing this person is trying to figure out how to approach this because I'm seeing this is the same person like these are all knights but I'm seeing it's the same person same person you actually have here one two three you have three of the knights out of the four see this knight of cups coming in this direction the knight of swords coming in this direction where are they all going they're all going to the past See, all of, this, all of this person's energy is in the past right now. They're trying to figure out how to approach the past, okay, in order to close it, okay, in order to close the past. This is something that they need to do on their own. This is this energy of like, it's, it feels like it's out of your control. This is something that you can't really talk to the person about. A, because they're not telling you about it, and B, because it's their lesson, it's their battle. Okay, this is something that they need to face. This is something that they keep going back and forth emotionally on. Okay. Am I seeing it closed? Yes, I'm seeing a victory here. Six of Wands. Okay, I am seeing that this person is going to successfully close out the past and victoriously move in your direction, okay? The Empress, okay? After this closure is a new beginning. After the closure of the past is a new life, okay? New, new. And you have your two Ace of Cups, new, okay? I feel like, so what I was saying earlier about this person is presenting inconsistent behaviors. And this is why I feel like whenever you notice those inconsistent behaviors, you go into this mode of like, okay, I think I need to walk away from this person. And then you go back and say, no, never mind. I don't want to, I don't want to leave this person. I'm seeing again, there's so much battle in it, inside, inner battle of should I leave? Should I not leave? Oh, they're inconsistent again. I should go. Oh, but now they're kind of coming forward to me again. Oh, I feel this connection. I don't know if I should go. There's a lot of inner battle here. And I'm, again, I'm so sorry that this is the way that it is for you right now because I can just like only imagine how draining and tough that is on you. Okay. Um... I'm seeing time reinvested, okay, here with the Seven of Pentacles, reinvested. So time that has been invested in the past that this person is going to close out is going to be reinvested. I'm seeing that here with the eight, two Ace of Cups here, reinvested into the love and the connection that um, you have each other. This person will come to the understanding. This person will come to the... Yeah, to the understanding that there is a, a deep connection here between you and them, that you have been there with this person. I do feel like you're detaching your energy a little bit from them because you're noticing, um, you're noticing just how much they're struggling. So I kind of feel like you want to just detach your energy a little bit, but you are, you're just so deeply connected to them. Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. Let me pull out some more cards and see. Um, potential outcome, Spirit. All right. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So, Eight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. 
I so what I'm seeing is that I'm seeing I'm seeing you potentially walking away and leaving this person out in the cold. Okay, because their past is in the present. They're dealing they have to close this out. They need to let they need to let go of the fear in order to move this forward. Okay, they really need to deal with this. Um, and again, this is their battle. And I feel like you guys are so intelligent. You're so smart. You intuitively know, like, you're in or you're going in and out of yourselves trying to figure out, okay, should I walk away? Should I not walk away? Remember we were talking about that? I can feel it in your energy of like, should I go? Should I stay? I feel so deeply connected to this person. I know I'm deeply connected to this person, but this is not the energy that I want. You want something different you want what you deserve you deserve time to be invested in you you deserve that um so i i'm seeing you walk away i am i'm seeing you walk away from this person i'm seeing you emotionally detach yourself from this person i'm seeing that you are letting go and they are feeling the loss of you they're feeling the loss of your emotional energy they're feeling the loss of your love they're feeling that you are pulling back okay and what happens when you pull back the fool and the ace of pentacles you have your two eight you have well you have three aces <laughs> two aces duplicated all right this person is going to take a risk this person is going to take a risk okay you're going to receive tangible commitment a tangible offer from this person okay this is the potential outcome all right Hmm. what i want to say um just lastly about their incons i don't know why my left arm is um itchy all of a sudden the um someone is really irritated by this energy someone is really irritated by this person um the knight of wands their inconsistency it's almost like they're presenting this behavior to you deep down that is not really how they feel Okay, so again, this is why like if I feel when I'm in this energy, I feel very confused. It's like one minute you feel like this, the, sec the another minute you feel like that and they're doing this, but deeply you know you f they feel more for you. It's just like, ah, oh, like, why, why? Um... So what I have to say about this inconsistency is that they're presenting a behavior, okay, but it's not how they really feel, okay, and that's what's so confusing. So I am seeing you just detaching yourself and saying, all right, well, you know, I'm going to give it up to the universe and see what happens, and I am seeing that they're going to offer, they're going to offer, okay. You're deeply, you're deeply connected to this person more than you realize, and then obviously, you know, you make a decision of what you want to do, okay, you make the decision, yes ace of swords you're going to receive some clarity look at this seven seven of cups the wheel of fortune okay there is going to be movement here you're going to see what we were talking about confusion you are going to receive communication that's going to clear the confusion you're going to see what this person really feels about you okay with the moon here okay so if you really feel this reading okay and how confusing it is how confusing this person is you're going to come out of that okay they are going to communicate their emotions they're going to communicate their feelings i'm telling you this presentation of inconsistency this behavior that they're presenting is not what it seems here with the moon and the seven of cups okay there's deeper emotions underneath those layers underneath this behavior okay all right it's not as it seems they're presenting it one way when they feel the world when they feel it all but you're not seeing this you're seeing the inconsistent behavior you're not seeing the emotions you're not seeing the vulnerability you're not seeing the depth you feel it but you're not seeing it and you want to see it from this person right you deserve to see it you deserve for it to be spoken okay and it will it will and then you decide here there's going to be some some uncertainty when they when they talk about it i feel like you're going to think about what they have to say you're going to think about it okay because you're in this energy queen of wands you're gonna you know exactly what you want all right you're, you, what you what you hear from this person 
I feel like you're going to like it, but you're going to sit on it for a little bit. You're going to sit on it. I feel like you're making them sweat a little too. Yeah, you're going to make them sweat a little. Um, yeah, you're going to sit. You're going to sit. You're going to really think about what they say. It's almost like you're feeling it out. Feeling out, okay, did they really close out the past? Did they really release their fear of commitment? Did they really release that energy? It's almost like you're feeling them out. They're, you're sensing them out. Okay. Did I get everything that I've been looking for? Did I hear everything that I needed to hear? Okay. So you decide. You decide what to do when they come forward. Okay. This was your love reading. I love you guys. Until next time.